the Taycan was revealed less than a year ago and goes on sale in late 2019 so may be wondering what could Porsche possibly change as early as possible to warrant a complete press release. Actually quite a lot, the 2021 model year switch comes with a series of updates in terms of performance, technology and appearance. First and foremost, go for the range-topping Turbo S and a run of 0 to 124 miles per hour, 200 kilometers per hour will only take 9.6 seconds provided launch control is turned on. That's an increase of 0.2 seconds compared to the Taycan Turbo S. The faster performance in sprints clearly had a positive impact on the quarter-mile time, which now takes 10.7 seconds or tenths of a second less than before. The Taycan 2021 will be offered optionally with a color head-up display which can be configured to display a navigation display, power meter and additional preset selected by the driver. It's divided into three sections, with the main display and status screen coupled with a customizable temporary content area that can display calls or voice control commands, for example. The Porsche electric sedan also gets the smart lift functionality which has become standard when ordering the Taycan with adaptive air suspension. What it does is allow the driver to set when the front lift system automatically works, similar to the front axle lift offered by the Corvette C8. Buffenhausen's Peaks mentioned that it does a lot more than that because it also adjusts vehicle height quickly when driving on the road to balance efficiency and comfort. The transition to 2021MY comes along with an optional 22kW onboard charger which cuts the time it takes to charge the battery in half compared to a standard 11kW charger. Porsche has also added a new function to charge the battery while maximizing its lifespan by limiting the charging capacity to around 200 kilowatts. Support for over-the-air updates allows Porsche to offer what it calls functions on demand. These are basically optional features that Taycan owners can get as a monthly subscription, including active lane keep assist for €19.50 in Germany where the Porsche Intelligent Range Manager PIRM costs €10.72. Customers can obviously have this permanently for a one-time fee of €808.10 and €398.69, respectively. Power Steering Plus is also available as function on demand, but is offered exclusively as a purchase option for €320.71. All prices are valid in Germany. Rounding off the changes brought by the turn of the model year are the standard digital radio, the optional carbon sport design package for all Taycan versions, and seven new paint options, ice gray metallic, coffee beige metallic, mahogany metallic, chalk, neptune blue, cherry metallic, and fuzzenberry metallic.